Okay, uh, so next we do the analysis uh, on a circuit without a bypass capacitor at the emitter resistance RE. So this is a common emitter and bypass RE. So uh, what is the effect of the removal of the bypass? Uh, if we remove this the bypass RE, so uh, in previous uh, circuit we have the bypass capacitor here, okay, connected in parallel with uh, RE. If we remove this one, so what will happen to the uh, amplifier is uh, the amplifier input impedance will increase. So this is will increase, and then we have uh, the voltage gain. However, the voltage gain will decrease and the output impedance also decrease. So, output is the increase. Okay. So, uh, in, in uh, point view of the voltage amplifier, higher input impedance is, is good. So, this is okay. This is good. But, uh, lower voltage gain is not good. It's not good. And the uh, increase of output impedance is also not good. Okay. So when we uh, when we draw, draw the mid band equivalent circuit, so the difference between the bypass and unbypass is the uh, you see here there is RE connected to the emitter. So if we have bypass here. The RE disappear because uh, uh, most of the current will flow through the capacitor. So there is no uh, amount of, there is no significant amount of current and there is no significant amount of voltage drop at the RE if the, there is a capacitor there. Okay, so the difference is we have this RE. So when we have, uh, we have the diff, uh, RE here, the input impedance will also will change because RE need to be taken into account. And then how about the output impedance? How about the gain? And so on. So now we uh, want to analyze it. Okay, this is the calculation how we can calculate the input impedance of the common emitter and bypass. For the common emitter and bypass, uh, we need to consider this RE. So, uh, from this point, so we will see RB here is parallel with this is parallel with uh, all this component. So RB is parallel with uh, this here. RB is parallel with all this uh, resistor network, and this resistor network is is uh, defined by ZB. So this is ZB. So the ZI is equal to RB parallel with ZB. Okay, what is the definition of ZB? ZB is uh, the voltage. ZB is voltage uh, from the B point. So voltage from the B point over voltage at the B point. So at the base point. So volt, uh, sorry, current at the uh, B point. Current at the B point is IB. The okay, voltage at the B point, voltage at the base, is the uh, total of the voltage at the R pi plus tot voltage at the RE. So V R pi, or here we use V pi, eh? V pi plus V R E. Okay, so this is uh, the definition of ZD. So the calculation will be something like this. So the V pi is uh, IBR pi. Okay, V pi is I, IBR pi, and voltage at the RE is IERE. And then uh, the IE can be related to the IB using the beta plus 1 IB. 
So here IE is replaced by IB beta plus 1 I beta plus 1 IB IE is equal to beta plus 1 IE IB So here uh, all the, the ZD is uh, expressed as a function of base current So the base current here can be cancelled out and then uh, the result is uh, R pi plus beta power plus 1 RE. Okay, so means that we can calculate the ZB. Once we get the value for ZB, the input impedance is the parallel of the ZB value with the RB. Okay, this is how we can calculate the input impedance. Okay, as for the output impedance, uh, okay. So output impedance uh, is determined by uh, setting the input voltage as zero. So VI is equal to zero. When VI is equal to zero, there is no base current and there will no, there will be no uh, current at the current source. So the connection here is broken. So there will be no connection here. So uh, what we see from the output side is only RC. So it's only RC. Okay, so the answer is Z out is equal to RC. Okay. So if you may notice that uh, here uh, the small armor is removed. So this is uh, in the case where we uh, assume that where we uh, assume or where we consider the R node is equal to infinity. Okay, how about the voltage gain? Okay, the voltage gain, uh, the equation for voltage gain for common em emitter and bypass is uh, more uh, complicated compared to the, the bypass case. So, uh, in terms of uh, how we can derive it, as I mentioned before, uh, the first thing that you need to know, uh, need, you need to confirm when you do the derivation for the voltage gain is uh, the definition. So what is the definition of the gain that you want to solve? So for example, in this slide, I want to solve the AVOC. So AVOC is V out without the load. So D is V out OC without the load over VI. So next. We have uh we need to call, we need to know what is V out and what is VI in terms of the expression or using the equation. So V out we have done uh, so V out is this voltage across this point with respect to the ground. So this is equal to the voltage drop at the RC. So voltage drop at the RC. So to calculate the voltage drop using the Ohm's law, you need to know the current here. Okay, the current here is minus Vm V pi. So the value of the current, the uh, magnitude of the current is uh, similar to the current source, but the direction is in minus direction. So V out is minus Vm V pi. So minus Vm V pi is the current current part times the resistor resistance RC okay so this is the uh, output side output side how about the VI VR VI if we have calculated the VI uh, we have we have uh, actually uh, calculated the ZB here so you know uh, the ZB is equal to equal to VB over IB so VB here is the voltage at the base point actually equal to voltage at the input point so uh, ZVI is equal to this is IB ZB so ZB is a, um, a finite value so this is a, a fixed value Okay, when, uh, then we have this equation 1 and equation 2. This is number 1 and this is equation number 2. 
Okay, so uh, if you uh, if we compare the equation one equation two, uh, equation one have uh, v pi as the variable, equation two but equation two have i b as the variable. So next, what you can do is uh, uh, you can um, what you can do is you can uh, replace the v v pi with the i b. Okay, what is definition of v pi? So if you see here, V pi is voltage drop at R pi, and the current across the V pi is I B. So V pi is actually I B times R pi. Okay. So here, you can replace the V pi with I B R pi. The A V O C is equal to minus G M. This is output. In up, uh, output equation is minus gm. We have ib r pi rc over ib, sorry, ib zb. So you can cancel the ib here and then you can get minus gm r pi rc over zb. Okay, so this is uh, the same with uh, written in the box.